the week prior, he was like, uh, hey, I'm going I'm to pierce my – or actually, we're sitting on his bus and we're drunk. And he just shows me a picture of a cross earring. And he does his face. He's like <laughs> – that just means he's up to something. And uh, I said, are you doing it? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I'll pierce it for you. And he's like, all right. And uh, he was like, let's get an earring. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. And then uh, I didn't tell him, but I ordered the earring on Amazon. And so the next week, uh, the first night of the tour, I walked on his bus and I threw the, threw the earring in the box or whatever in his lap. And he's like, what's this? And I was like, open it. And it was the earring. Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> and um, so, yeah, at St. Louis, we, you know, it was after everybody had played Florida, Florida Georgia Line, everybody was done. And, um, we were on his bus and we were like, tonight's the night. And, and uh, we didn't have anything to pierce it. So I got a guitar string and uh, an apple or a, a lemon or something. I can't remember. And I held it on the back of his ear. And I mean, I've, I freaking pierced it. But the thing was, the guitar string hole was too small because it was the little hoop thing that you have to put in after that. Yeah. And it wasn't, oh man, it, it hurts me just thinking about it. It, sounds it was gruesome. too big. And so I got it like halfway in there, but it wouldn't go all the way through. And Morgan was just like, just do it, just shove it through. And so I just shoved it through his ear. And it, I, I mean, I think I crushed it. I think I did a great job. Hicks Tape, Volume 1. How, I, I mean, I know you got friends in Nashville, but man, like when that came out, I was looking at it, and I'm like, my God, who doesn't he have on here? How did you pull all that off? How'd you pull that all together? How long did that take to put together? Man, we, uh, we recorded the 10 songs in May, I think, and uh, the only two songs that I knew for a fact that were going to have features on them, or that were already commitments, was uh, Morgan Wallen, Turn You Down, and, and he went to Jared, and uh, the rest of them, man, half of them were like, fortunately, like buddies of mine, like, I remember I texted Thomas Rhett, myself, I texted Dustin Lynch, I texted uh, Cole Swindell, John Langston, Mitchell Tenpenny, um, Devin, Dawson, Lauren Elena. Uh, there were a few that I that I texted, and and uh, a lot of those were just from like songwriting. I had you know developed a relationship with these people just because I've written with them or I've kind of been in the same circles. And and uh, then the other ones, um, some of the OG people like uh, Trace Adkins and Joe Diffie and Tracy Lawrence. It was kind of with the help of the label, but. Man, everybody just said yes. We just kept asking people, and it just like people just kept saying yes. And and you know, it's a summer, and people's schedules are crazy, and 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 it just worked out, man. People like Joey, because I was gone. Some when some of the people would come in and sing, I wasn't even in town, you know. And uh, Joey would just text me and be like, you know, Tracy Lawrence is coming tomorrow. You know, I'll let you know how it goes. And just like everybody's schedules worked out with being able to swing by for an hour and sing their part, and okay. and. Uh, Anyway, just it worked out like a dream. Hardy, man, thank you so much. Absolutely. Best of luck.